Hello everyone. I bought a new lyre harp. It's the Donna Seven String Pentatonic Lyre Harp. In this video, I'm going to review this instrument and the accessories that come with it. So let's get started. I bought this lyre to play pentatonic music. Pentatonic is a musical scale with only five notes that sound good no matter how you play them. Pentatonic music has this amazing property of helping people relax, and I want to try that. It's really nice that Donner has his own box for the instrument. The one I got from a different brand last time came in just one paper box, which I think was not protective enough for the instrument. So this one is nice. And this lyre was made in China. Everything is put inside this gig bag. Already, I can see how this bag can protect the lyre from damage. It's made from a canvas-like material that looks easy to clean and does not gather dust. You can also wear the bag. This is the lyre harp, made from mahogany wood. They say it has seven metal strings. There is a pretty sun design engraved around the sound hole. And inside the sound hole, you can see a rosette with the Donner logo. The lyre harp has a matte, smooth finish. I'm moving it so you can see how the light reflects off its surface. The smooth finish continues to the back. There are no sharp edges. It lies flat on its back, so it's very good. The one I have from a different brand does not. This lie is very light because it's hollow. From this angle, you can see how thick the wood is. They have metal rings around the drill holes to prevent the strings from cutting into the wood. The bottom of the lyre is where you put the strings through when you change them. The packs are straight and sturdy. The white thing is the bridge. They say made from bone. I don't know if you can see, but the bridge goes into the wood. It's not just glued to the surface, and it's snug. It doesn't move around. The edges are rounded, so it won't scrape against your skin or clothes. Let's find out what else is in the gig bag, shall we? Extra strings. This lyre uses metal strings, and metal will rust. It's just a matter of time, because your hands sweat and there's moisture in the air. So an extra set of strings is always convenient to have. Each string is numbered, and I checked. All seven strings are there, numbered from one to seven. They have an instruction booklet. I'm so excited about this one. I'm looking forward to it teaching me how to play some songs on the seven-string lyre. In this booklet, they tell you the history of the lyre harp, how to tune it, and sheet music for two songs. But. Are they beginner friendly? Can they teach me how to play? Let's look at this one first. It tries to mimic standard music notation, but there are some minor mistakes in standard notation. I think I can still follow this one though. But to play this song, you need to tune the lyre differently from what is recommended in this booklet. It may confuse complete beginners. The second song is in a different format. I have no idea what it means. Why are there six horizontal lines? A standard notation has five lines, and the lyre has seven strings. So why why are there six lines? I don't really understand it. I don't think I can learn the song. Let's return to our accessories. The tuning wrench is a must-have for the lyre to stay in tune. It is exactly the same one as I got for my sixteen-string lyre from another brand. They also give you two picks. They are made from really thin material. You can see how flexible they are. And a cloth to wipe your lyre with. 
It's always a good idea to wipe down the strings every time after you play to remove any sweat and oil left on the strings. They also have a card asking you to join the Donna Vine program. I'm really happy about the gig bag. It has a large compartment for the lyre and a smaller one for the accessories. The material is lightly padded so it protects the instrument. You can take the lyre out on a trip. All the zippers are smooth. The strap can be attached to either side of the bag according to your preference. The length of the strap can be adjusted. But there is a slight thing. The buckle is facing the wrong direction. But it doesn't stop it from working though. This is what the lyre sounds like before it is tuned. When I'm editing this video, I keep laughing because it's so funny. This is what it sounds like after it is tuned. I will play with my fingers first and then with a pick. I am impressed by the quality of this lyre from Donna and how beautiful it sounds. I was recording with just my phone, without any sound effects when I was playing the lyre. The instrument is surprisingly well made, with good craftsmanship. I love this lyre. The gig bag would be very useful to me. I just wish the instruction booklets could teach me how to play some songs. But then it's okay, I can teach myself in other ways and maybe share what I learned in this channel. Overall, I'm really happy with this purchase. I hope you find value in this video and that it helps you decide whether this lyre is for you. So goodbye for now. Thank you for watching.